A warm greetings aspirants. Welcome to another session brought to you by Shankar IAS Academy. So if you guys have been constantly following our YouTube channel then you might have known that we have brought in a new series wherein we address some of the important questions or in a way some of the most confusing questions that keeps lingering in an aspirant's mind. So this particular video is also a part of that series and in today's video I am going to address one of the most prevalent question that is on how to stay focused throughout your UPSC preparation. So on that line in today's discussion that is in the next three to four minutes I will be giving you five important tips that would actually help you to stay focused throughout your UPSC journey. So the first and foremost thing is to have a study plan because nothing comes out well if not planned. So while framing a study plan you should have in mind that it should be a feasible and a proper one. So when I say proper it means that your study plan should be designed in a way where you give importance to frequently appearing topics in UPSC. Now likewise your study plan should also be practical because you should analyze your own self. Now say for example you should first analyze whether you are an early bird or a night, night owl. So based on your preferences only you should frame your study plan. Now secondly while framing your study plan you make sure to give more importance or you make sure to allot more time to those topics that are really difficult and also to those topics that are important from the exam point of view. So in order to understand the importance of the topic or the kind of weightage it holds in the exam perspective first thing that you should do is to read or to analyze the previous year's question because it is only when you do that you will know the importance a topic holds in the exam perspective. Now likewise you should always analyze yourself in the sense you should always self evaluate yourself and that self evaluation can be done only through taking up test. So always make sure to take up tests and also to revise constantly because if you do not revise then there are high chances for you to forget what you have learnt. Now the next important tip is to have a study space. So your study space should be one which is exclusively used for your studying. So when I say a study space I do not mean a table and chair it can be any place of your choice but you always make sure that it is a place which is isolated where there is no much noise and at the same time a place with adequate temperature and a place with adequate lighting because all these aspects they play an important role when it comes to your concentration. So the next important thing is to avoid distractions. See thoughts like stress, career comparisons and financial constraints are some popular thoughts that keep disturbing the minds of UP UPSC aspirants. So if you are one such aspirants who are having or who are, being who are being disturbed by such thoughts I will give you an advice. See at such occasions you just think whether that particular issue is in your control and if it is in your control or if you think or if you are confident that you can do something about it then please go ahead and do the deedful. But there may be certain situations in life when we certainly know that they are not they are outside our control and we are no we cannot do anything about it. So at such instances you please make sure to ignore it and do what is necessary and to stay focused throughout your preparation. Okay so this is one important thing which we should always have in mind because these thoughts have got the potential to pull us down and to make us as negative as possible. The fourth comes the importance of having a break. So whenever you study you make sure you study in 40 minutes slot each because at the end of the day quality matters than quantity. Last but not the least comes our daily habits that is our habits like having a tight sleep or two for eight hours and having good healthy food and practicing the habit of meditation. So these are some important points. So I would like to say a quote for you. Uh, which is drawn from alchemist and this quote goes like if you want something then the whole universe together conspires to give it to you. So with that positive note I would like to end the session and with fingers crossed I would see you in another beautiful session. So till then take care stay calm and study well.